everybody! Welcome to this week's video. If you're new here, my name is Flossy and I have lived in my van for three years. I've got some exciting things to show you this week. I love the outdoors, I love nature, I love swimming in the ocean, and more than anything, my door to the van is frozen shut, and so I can't get out. It's snow everywhere. I am just trapped. Oh, man, so cold. <laughs> it's cold, this sucks. Living in a van in winter isn't always the easiest. In British Columbia's winters are quite mild, but this year the ice was to make it a little more difficult for me. Over the holiday period, it was really lovely to get away for a little bit to a little cabin. A break from the van, just before the cold weather really set in. One day, I want to have a cabin of my own on the ocean front. So looking at others and how they are set up is keeping my little dream alive. I'm definitely not wearing enough clothes, but I'm just nipping out to put this camera up to do a little time lapse. <sighs> Feels really special to be by the ocean and I love the inspiration and healing and grounding that it brings my soul. I've definitely felt that as I move around and I'm spending more time inland on the Vancouver Island that my body and soul misses the misses the salty ocean seas so it's lovely to be back here and I am planning on doing some storytelling and filmmaking which I want to tell you more about I'm currently making another documentary film but it requires me to talk a whole lot about my personal and vulnerable experiences and I've been having this massive block and hard time having the courage to share, you know, like vulnerable things feel more daunting to share and takes more emotional effort to get up the energy to do it. So I'm currently working on that and I dreamt about it last night, which is the first time I've dreamt about something that excites me and inspires me that isn't work and stressing and having work and related anxiety so I'm really thrilled and I feel like it's an absolute sign to follow that lead of intuition and talk to the camera film the piece that I've been meaning to film get it done and if I cry on camera that's okay I'm telling a story that I believe lots of people will resonate to so I gotta do it anyway another beautiful day by the ocean I'm gonna go for a swim uh, because I have moved my home base recently um, I am no longer quite as close to the ocean I have not been going in for big dives as frequently which has been hard um, I think my body used those dips to keep my spirits high throughout winter. Um, my body's definitely noticed the lack of energy or less energy, definitely from doing less exercise. Um, so I'm not expecting much. And because I'm so out of practice, I forgot my flippers and I forgot my weight belt. And I forgot the underwater housing for the GoPro. What I might do in this video is insert some clips of the beautiful marine life that I saw last time I came for a swim here. Time to suit up. It's been a while, I'm out of practice. And brave the cold water. This water is probably about six or seven degrees Celsius at the moment. Right, I am almost fully geared up. Put my 
mask and snorkel and gloves on and brave the water. Woohoo! Oh, it's been a while. I am really looking forward to going for a swim. And I need to do this more often.
I got changed inside here because it's warm after swimming. Coming along. Some part of, I think some part of us wants companionship. Some part of us wants community and to be together with folks. We cannot sustain existence in isolation. This is December 2023. I hope that this becomes a new passion. I step back into it. I find the spark in me again that is excited to create. I hope that for all of you, that you can all come together and share in this joy, this community building, this connection of healing and love and resilience and resistance and radical self-acceptance despite in spite of everything around us This time of year can be challenging for some and lonely for some and I want you to find that somebody is remembering you here. I see you. I hope you find some solace and peace and beauty in the places that you're in to take a little break from it all and recenter and take care of yourself because if you take care of yourself you're better able to take care of everything around you and participate and share give back. Oh, the irony. I just went to go outside and my door to the van is frozen shut on the outside. Uh, the van is not entirely level and water dribbles down this corner and it has frozen on the door trim. And so I can't get out. I think I'll be able to figure it out. This has happened before and I kind of had to climb out the back and heck, heck the ice off so let me show you we managed to get the window open can you 
see there's ice that has run all the way down on this door seal and we have a lot of snow right now so wish me luck I'm gonna try and hack my way out of here <laughs> everywhere. I am just trapped. <laughs> it's cold. This sucks. To drop anything. Oh look, I can even see the ice. Here's the problem. Look. There's ice in there. Inside the door. Okay, I'm going to try and pry it from the inside, but I can only get down so far. Now this is freezing. <laughs> it won't fit. Fuck. Okay. The door will not open. I can't get out. So I'm gonna try my back doors. This is why it was so important to me when building this van that I have two doors. <sighs> I've turned off all the lights and everything because I want to take care of my batteries. I don't know if the batteries are too cold. It's supposed to sink below minus 15 tonight. And I'm expecting my batteries to not make it because they won't stay warm enough. Whew. But I've been warm because my fireplace has been on. All right, let's see if I can get this back door open. Great. I have to climb down here. It's snowing outside. Fuck. Oh. This is not how I wanted to be leaving my house today. I had to climb out because I literally cannot get out of this door. There is water all inside here. It is frozen quite shut. Very strange, but well, at least I can get in and out of the back doors and close it up from the inside because that's not going to open for a while now, I don't think. Sigh. Hello. It is beautiful out today after a small smattering of snow and it's actually really cute because we can see where the creatures have been running around the snow and I'm just going to follow some prints in a second. Um, the sun is out and I'm so happy about it. Unfortunately my solar panels are not going to get much sun today because they're covered in snow and I don't have a ladder available to me to go up there and brush it off. Eventually I want to put a ladder on the back of the van but that will really reduce the stealthiness the minimal stealthiness that I have already anyway what we have to do is open the sliding door so last night I had to get outside to do some horse chores and my front door was frozen shut so I have climbed out the back door um, and we are going to open it up with a chisel I think this is the benefit of having a vehicle and I think it's also for fire safety too I want to make sure my vehicle always has two exits 
This is a step van which would normally have two doors on the, on the front and one on each side of the cab but mine only has one, the other one has been covered over. It used to have two, it does not anymore. Um, this happened all prior to my purchasing it but my back doors are an excellent exit and I popped out but time to get the front doors open because it is way more practical and I don't want to be dragging my snowy boots over my bed. Right. This is our situation. We have a rivulet of ice that goes the whole way down. Now, I think also it goes on the inside. See, it's really frozen shut here. Same thing happened last winter, um, so it's not a surprise to me, and I figured out how to open it, so I'm gonna get going. Maybe this is a bird? I don't know what it is. It's something. And walked across here. See, there's another one. I wonder what it was. Aren't they cute? I'm not having a ton of luck so far. So, I think I'm going to take a break. I need to get some gloves. I need to climb in the van and try and do some of it from inside because the rivulet of ice goes inside on the door too. All that wind is icy. Climb back in, get gloves. Try open door from inside. I should have put gloves on before I came outside. <sighs> All right, let's try and see if we can open the door from the inside. And I'll show you the rivulet of ice that I spotted last night. And at that point I was like, it's dark, it's cold. I give up. But it is minus 10 Celsius. And it feels like minus 15 to 20 when the wind gently picks up a little bit really cold. Well, really cold for me and really cold for here. I'm not familiar with this kind of temperature at all. Right. This is what we're working with. Ice. Big clumps of it in here. I'm warming up my toes. I can't feel them. I thought this would be a five, 10 minute job. And I have to insert that animation that says two hours later from SpongeBob or something. And then I was just working on this for like 40 minutes and had that all recorded and didn't press record. And I thought I was talking to the camera and I wasn't. Like it's coming. Okay. We'll go outside again from the back and see if we can make it work. Or I'll take a break and go de-ice all the animals' water buckets so that they can drink water because they will be all frozen over. Okay, let's go. Two boots. So graceful. It's not quite a wood chopping and it's definitely not a queer thirst trap but Oh, yes! <laughs> I did it! 
eyes. <sighs> oh, I knew I would do it, but it took so much effort. I'm so glad I did it. <sighs> A very exciting morning today. Whew. Whew. The temperature plummeted last night. I woke up, it was very cold. And outside it was minus 10. It definitely was a little bit below, below freezing here. Um, I really need to insulate the floor better. I think a lot of cold comes up that way. But I'll get to that this year over spring. Um, and as you saw from the video last night, I couldn't get my front door of the van open. I had to chip it out. So thankfully I can get out the back doors. Did it. But it took me about an hour and a half to get into the van. Like, holy moly. What a, what a journey. What a crazy time. I'm glad I got in. It's not the first time my front door is frozen shut. If the van is on a slight angle this way, then where the gutters are, it runs down that way. So I think I need to fix the gutter a little bit and just point the water a little further away from my door. Um, it's only happened once before. It's not a regular occurrence and it doesn't often get quite this cold. But the exciting thing is Amanda is coming. Like, I think we lift each other's spirits when we need it, so it's going to be good. Anyway, I have tidied up the van a bit, and <sighs> might have some lunch, and then later on she's going to arrive, and we will hang out. And I'm excited! It's nice to be seeing my friends more often. Sometimes I feel a little more isolated and a little more alone, so to have my friends more regularly in my life is really, really nice. And I'm working on making other friends um, around about and hanging out with them too, so. Excuse my very dirty window. I love you all. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, I'd much appreciate it if you would help me out that way. I see so many people watching and only a percentage of you are subscribed. That means when the algorithm decides that something is popular or not popular those of you who have subscribed can go to the subscriptions tab and f watch my videos I tend to go only to the subscriptions tab to watch videos on YouTube these days I am tired of being recommended things that I'm not interested in and then I get to control my viewing experience by my subscriptions and not let an, an, an algorithm dictate what I should or should not be watching so I hope you can think about that too because we deserve to have our media curated by us, not by some robot machine. <sighs> and to my Patreons, thank you so much. I could not do this without you. You make a huge difference to my life. And I really appreciate the friendship and community. And I can't wait to share more resources with you. Um, and I'll be doing some tarot readings for the end of the year for each month. And I'll share that with you too. Bye.